Hi, what's going on YouTube? Um, I apologize for the dimly lit room. Um, I'm back in my cave and um, my desk is rearranged and yada yada and all this other stuff, but whatever. Um, I've gotten some uh, some people have wanted my reaction from the Washington Redskins, Redskins game and this just goes to show you how inept this team is and how lucky this team is and how we need to get rid of this coaching staff pronto. You have a team that forced seven turnovers, okay? The Falcons defense cost seven turnovers, or the Washington offense gave up seven turnovers, however you want to perceive it. I perceive it as if the Washington uh, Redskins gave up seven turnovers because they, they couldn't hold on to the ball throughout any drive in the second half or much less throughout the game. Okay, they couldn't even hold on to the ball. All right? So a team that causes seven, seven turnovers, okay, wins by one, had to deflect a two-point conversion to win the game. And Falcons fans that I've seen on Twitter and everyone else, uh, all the people, are elated. Yes, we got a win. We beat the Redskins. What the hell? Are you guys blind? Do you guys not see the bigger issue here? And that A, we're hurting our future by winning. We're hurting our draft position, okay? We might not have Clowney. If we keep winning, we might not have Clowney, and then people are going to keep complaining, a.k.a. me, all right, and other people down the road are going to be like, well, this defense sucks. Huh? No wonder you had a prime position to get an elite player, and you fuck it up. And then B, how does a team that causes seven turnovers only win by one? Does that make any sense? Does this team... This team seems to have evolved around Julio Jones, and it is scary to see this team just go downhill so much because they lose one player, one wide receiver, okay? One wide receiver. You mean to tell me that this team, with Tony and with Roddy, who was a bit hobbled in the first couple of weeks, I'm not going to lie, he started coming back to form around after the bye week. And a Harry Douglas. And a Jack Quiz Rogers. You mean this team cannot score points? This team just sucks beyond ridiculousness. Cannot score over 30 points only twice this season without Julio Jones? This just goes to show you that this team can't do anything. That we hurt ourselves in the long run, okay? I love the Julio Jones trade. I love he's a fantastic player. But this trade that Thomas Dimitrov made two years ago is killing us. Because we have absolutely no depth at any position whatsoever. We gave up five players. Five players for Julio Jones. Okay? That is a lot. That is a lot of potential. Alright? A friend of mine pointed this pointed out to me uh, two days ago. He said, look look, look! what the Rams got last year. Zach Stacy. what round was he in? He was like in the seventh round, okay? Justin Houston, last year, he was a first-round pick. You had these players, this past year, I mean, I mean, back in uh, April. We gave up these picks, okay? We gave them up. We could have gotten Doug Martin. We could have gotten Justin Houston. All of these prime, prime players, and we're, we gave it away for Julio Jones. I mean, he's great. Don't get me wrong, man. This guy is beast. But you're talking about a win or lose situation. And right now, it is not looking good. We have no depth at any position whatsoever. We are, Everybody that is on the field for our defense is essentially the, from the practice squad. Okay? Just think about that. Look at the other teams. Look at the Seattle Seahawks. Look at the the Patriots. What do they do? What is their formula for success? Every year, 
Every year, the Patriots have at least 10 or 12 picks. Every year. They hoard picks. They hoard players because they realize that injuries happen and you have to have depth in this league in order to win. you got to have depth. You can't do, this, do the formula that we're using, which is the win or die, because it doesn't work. It's clearly not working. Thomas Dimitrov, you, you shocked me, okay? You made some interesting, that, that trade, it's, it's haunting us, okay? It's really haunting us. And it goes to show you that, I mean, Matt Ryan is a great quarterback. He is doing a ridiculous job with the players he has. But this team just has no depth whatsoever. And it showed against the Washington Redskins team, who's also... 3 and 10, who we who we got seven turnovers and we barely won. We barely won. They would have won the game had they scored a two-point conversion. They had the balls to go for a two-point conversion because they know they're not gonna. I mean, what do you what else do you play for? This you don't play for anything at this point. You play for your jobs, yeah, but it was a coach's decision. You try to win the game. I mean, there's no point in playing. I mean, you win, you lose, it's not gonna hurt your record. The only the only benefit to losing at this point is you get a better draft pick. And in the Redskins' case, they don't have a first-round draft pick from next year because the Rams got it. So this, it's it's scary. It really is. This this We have got to make some changes in the offseason. We have got to make some heavy, heavy changes. I love Mike Smith. Mike Smith... If I'm quoting a friend, my the same friend, I'm quoting him. He said, Mike Smith is the guy to help rebuild a franchise. He's not the guy to get us there. And I totally agree with that. Kudos to Smith. You turned a, from what looked like a franchise that was just in the complete shithole. Okay? Just absolutely bleak as hell. Nothing, there was absolutely no glimmer of hope at all. And you turned the franchise around. I got to give you props for that. You did a great job. But, okay, here's the big ass but, all right? Two times in your five year, six year tenure, tenure here in Atlanta, you had the best record. You had home field advantage throughout the playoffs, okay? The first time you got absolutely blitzed, blitzed by the Green Bay Packers. Speaking of, I'm just going to go off on a little tangent here. Look at what they did and their depth. Okay, they lost their starting quarterback, their pro bowler, MVP, Super Bowl winner, Aaron Rodgers. Okay, MVP, Super Bowl winner. He's out for the. He's out for four games. He's been out with a collarbone injury, at least a month. It's been at least a month. He probably won't play next week. Who do they get? Matt Flynn. That's depth. They don't have Randall Cobb. They don't have Jacoby Jones. They've both been injured. The only player they have is Jordy Nelson, and they're still fucking scoring. Lights out. That's off my tangent. Anyway, you had two years of where the road to the Super Bowl and the NFC division went through Atlanta. One year, you got fucked. The second year, okay, both times you blew the lead. Once you got away with. The other one... Not so much, as we all know from the San Francisco 49ers game. You don't keep your foot on the gas pedal. You're, what your problem is, is that you like to start out fast, and then you just, you play conservative. You just, you, you go out of the gate, and then you're like, well, we just need to run the ball. And run the ball, and run the ball, and run the ball, and run the ball. And that's it. And let you, you let teams creep in slowly and slowly, and they start doing the no huddle more and more because they're gaining momentum because then this team cannot convert on third down conversions and this team can't convert in the red zone because we suck ass in the red zone because we settle for field goals. We don't take the points when we need to. We could have gotten two wins and we've beaten the Patriots and we could have beaten the Jets, but no, we go for it on fourth and goal. We run the ball on fourth and goal. We make dumb decisions on fourth and goal which costs us team wins, it all cultivates. That's the problem. It cultivates. It's been building up this 
ridiculousness season has just been building up and now people are real. A lot of people don't even realize it, but I've, I'm seeing it. I'm seeing what this franchise has become. And it's just become a big ass disappointment because they tease you. It's all tease. Seven fucking turnovers and you only score win by one. Seven turnovers. Like, what the hell? Every fucking play. The ball was on the ground. The Falcons got it. What a punt the ball. You kick a field goal. This team is it's ridiculous the talent the 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 talent that the first string has. It's what this is what this is what Thomas Dimitrov is good at doing. He's good at building a first string team. Everything else is done. You lose one player. Julio Jones is out. It's the season's done. It's crazy. That doesn't make any sense. That's not how that's not how a franchise should work. That's that's not what should happen. Look at Seattle's defense. They lost fucking everybody. And they're they're the best defense in the league. They're gonna go to the Super Bowl. Yeah, but put it down. I don't get it. I don't get it. This team doesn't do the no huddle. This team has no depth. What? What? And this team wants to win. We keep hurting ourselves. We need a, we need a draft. We need a high draft pick. Okay? We have got to start over. We've got to build depth this draft season. We just got to hoard everything. Hoard offensive tacklers. Hoard defense. And grab some wide receivers, okay? Because clearly, this team, without Julio Jones, just, it's, it's complete, I mean, it's just, and we need a tight end. This team just needs to start over completely, I feel like. It, uh, it's, 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 uh, I can guarantee you any other team that had seven turnovers this game would have been a complete complete decimation the decimation I mean it would not have been a contest they would have been subbing in third third string teams in the fourth quarter it would have been like 49 to 20 okay we barely beat Buffalo they give us turnovers we barely beat Washington they gave us turnovers we barely got by Tampa Bay we barely got by the Rams. The Rams should have beaten. The Rams are sick, dude. I told this. I told you guys from day one. The Rams are a good team, and they, they, destroyed the Saints. That defense is sick. That is a defense. That is a really good defense. That NFC West division. Huh. It's a good thing that we reverted back. That we don't have three divisions. It's a good thing we have four divisions because if the Falcons were in the NFC West like they were long, long ago, <laughs> we wouldn't see the light of day. Now, if we if it was back, I mean, if we had the divisions now and the teams now, there's no way. San Francisco, Arizona, practically unbeatable at home. Seattle, just duh defense, just stupid. And the Rams defense, oh. Man, that's the formula, man. That is the formula. You got to hoard picks. Thomas Dimitrov, you came from New England, okay? Why don't you bring that ideology of New England to Atlanta? Take that brain from New England, bring it to Atlanta, and you will go to the Super Bowl, all right? You will go to the Super Bowl. You can't do this conservative play calling anymore. You can't. It's done. Look at all the teams in the in the in the standings. Look at all the teams. All right, number one teams: Philadelphia Eagles. What kind of st offensive style do they run? Oh yeah, they run the no huddle. All right, we go from the NFC East to the NFC North. Who's leading that division? Megatron and uh, Matt Stafford. They have a ridiculous offense. They don't have a defense. They can't do anything. Matt Stafford does make some poor decisions every now and then, but they kind of run a shotgun style set. They run the ball and they throw the ball, but they usually do a lot of shotgun sets. 
and Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers, or Matt Flynn. And what did they do against us? No huddle. All the time. All You look at the play-by-play, -play, the whole, every freaking play was no huddle. Every play was no huddle. And what was the outcome of that game? Could you could you tell me what the outcome what was the outcome of that game? I don't I don't remember. I don't remember because they lost. Wait, did they lose to a backup quarterback? Did, did they? Is that what? I, oh yeah, that's right. They lost to Matt Flynn and a backup quarterback via the no huddle. Okay, so now we go to the NFC our division. Who's leading the top? We got the Panthers and we got the Saints. They're tied. Huh. Do these guys run a shotgun style set? A, 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 a shotgun style? Does, is that what Drew Brees, do, Drew Brees does? Didn't he? Didn't that? It's, it's strange. I feel like a couple years ago he broke the single season passing yard record. And what kind of offense do you use to do that? Mm. And what do they do to us? What did the What did the Saints and the Packers do? They, uh, the Panthers do. They, <laughs> they destroyed us. And then I already talked about the NFC West. I don't need to dive into that again. You go to the AFC. Who's winning that division? The AFC. Oh, the Patriots? Oh, what? oh, my God. Oh, man. You talk about a team that has nobody. That has no one. And what do they do? All they do is win. Denver Broncos, what do they do? Me, 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 me. I'm, I, I mean, I just feel like I'm saying the same shit over and over again, but it's freaking true. And it's annoying. Every Sunday that I watch this shit, I, I force my, I tell myself, maybe they'll change and they don't. Experiment. Why don't you try it? You got nothing to lose. Okay, you got nothing to lose. You're 4 and 10. Okay? Your next opponent. <laughs> is, I think it's the 49ers, Monday Night Football. I want to say it is. It is. Monday Night Football. It's the 49ers. Try it out. Try it out. Okay? You're going to get, <laughs> just try it. What else do you have to lose? Call, call fucking Dirk Cutter and say, hey, we're going to do the no huddle. What else do you have to lose? You win? Oh, God, your momentum's down. Oh, no, we got to play for momentum. Oh, God, we got to go out on a winning streak because then we can be 6-10. and 10. Oh, man, instead of 5-11. and 11. What is one win going to matter at that point? If you're 4-10 and 10 or 4-12 or 5-11 and 11 or 6-10. and 10. Oh, my God. See, even my camera. Even my camera is upset. I'm I, This video is way too long. I'm f fucking, this is ridiculous. I'm done. <laughs> I'm gonna atrocious.